Hello iChurchers and welcome to part two uh, of the tutorials on editing a page on your website. So in the last one we looked at using the block editor to insert bits of text and images. There are there is an absolute multitude of blocks that you could use if you wanted to. Um, and so we're not going to bore you with the details of each one um, in all of these tutorials. We're just going to look at the key few that you might want to use. And ultimately, these tutorials will hopefully, in general, just put your mind at ease and make you feel more comfortable with editing your website and trying new things. Because the uh, I suppose it will be a part three, really, of this pages tutorial will look at uh, how you can rectify mistakes and how you can get yourself out of some potentially sticky situations in terms of you might want to remove a big bit of content that you did uh, that you put on that you want to get rid of and all those uh, similar situations that you might find yourself in so we hope that 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 tutorial particularly will make you feel more confident in trying new things and that if things go a little bit wrong how to restore them and put things back to normal. So we're going to look, as I said, of a couple more uh, blocks on and how you might use them. So we're going to start with a fresh new page um, because we hadn't uh, discussed adding a new page um, in the last tutorial. Um, of course, your iChurch site will be set up with all the pages you have asked for or we have suggested that you might need. Um, but you are, of course, welcome to add as many pages as you like to your website. We'd recommend keeping these, uh, keeping your pages fairly succinct. Um, we don't want people to be overloaded with information on your website. Um, but as I say, you do, uh, in theory, have free reign to the amount of pages you can have. So to add a new page, I'm going to click the Add New button up here. And I'm presented in the block editor with my new page. So I can add a title to it. I'm just going to call it a tutorial page. And you'll see just below it, I can straight away start writing. So I'm going to start writing here. And this is what is called a classic paragraph. Um, so we've got um, the classic uh, editor part of the uh, of the website, um, and we'll be doing a tutorial later on on using the classic editor, which is slightly different to the block editor. But this adds in basically uh, an element of the classic editor into the block editor. Um, so this is why it looks a little bit different than if we were um, to click on add block and then add paragraph. You'll see that the way we edit it looks slightly different. So if we just wanted to type in some more text here, uh, similar to what we did in the first part of the pages tutorial, we can move these things up and down. I can remove block straight away just by clicking remove block. So if I wanted to add a new block, I'm going to click the add block button and I can simply search for the block that I want to add. So we're going to look to begin with uh, in the second part on adding columns because this is a good way of uh, organizing your information and setting up uh, your content and setting it out so that it's nice and easy to read. So I searched for the column and uh, simply clicked column and here I am uh, ready to start um, adding my columns and I've got I can have up to three. Um, there isn't the option to have four mainly really because um, it will squash up your content too much. So you have a maximum of three columns um, and you have a variety of ways of setting them out as you can see here. So I'm going to go with the nice and classic two columns with an equal split. And you'll see now my blocks have been split up into two and I can use these in the same way that I would use the block editor in normal ways. So I can click the add block and I can either search for a block or have a look at some of the ones I've most recently used like the paragraph for example. So I'm going to say this is column one just to be able to break it up. And maybe in the second block I'm just going to add a straightforward image. So I can upload my image from my own computer or I could add it from the media library. 
You can also insert from a URL, but that's probably not really something you need to uh, be focusing on. But I can add it from my media library. So these are all the images that uh, which we discussed in the first page, uh, the first tutorial on the pages as well. Um, these are all the images that I've used before. So I'm going to add in this picture of the cross and click select. And here are my two columns. So I can click in this case publish because this was a new page so uh, it's invited me to publish the page and you'll see it's now live the page has been published so I can click view here and here is my page so you'll see it's broken into two columns saying this is column one and here is column two I'm gonna press back on my browser to go back to the page just wait for that to load up. If I wanted to swap my columns round, it's nice and easy. I can hover over this part here, which is saying if I wanted to change the block, so I don't have to delete it, I could just change it. Or I'm going to actually going to click on this button here, which is just going back to the overall part of the column. So this is the column here. So you see the blue boxes round our entire column. And if we wanted to, we can add more blocks below this image. To swap the columns, similarly to the up and down arrows on the block editor, I've got my left and right ones here for the column, so I can just click left and you'll see they've swapped over. So that's nice and easy. Again, if I want to make sure that my changes are saved, I can click update. And then well, I can preview my page or I can view the page here. If I wanted to view it in my two tab editing style, which we talked about in the first tutorial, then I can, uh, well, that's just disappeared now, but I can click preview here and you'll see it's preview in a new tab. And here is what my site, my page looks like as a preview. The only other block uh, that we think is maybe useful to you as a as an iChurch webmaster um, is the tables. So similarly to using a Word document, um, you have the option of uh, tables. So I'm just going to remove uh, all of these blocks just to tidy things up a bit. And we'll just go back to this main part of the paragraph here. So if I wanted to insert a table, same way. I go to add block and then I can search for a table <clears throat> and you'll see I've uh, it's telling me how many rows and columns I might want um, it doesn't really matter what you put in this because um, you can change it later so I'm just going to create a two by two table to begin with so here's my table uh, I can edit it so once I'm in the table here I can click edit and I can add rows delete rows add columns delete columns so that's what I meant by not worrying about uh, your what you've got in there and again so I can start typing in um, all my things you'll see uh, what just happened there was um, this uh, divider between the columns moved away this will be rectified once you start typing things in on the other side you can change the alignment of your table uh, as well if you wanted to just have it maybe on the right hand side um, then but as you can see that looks a little bit squashed but if we were to click update um, and then click to view page and in a new tab you'll see it's a little bit squashed over here so you know that wasn't something we would want to do but your options are there if you wanted to and we can move this back up um, to the top so you see it's now in with the hello section but I'm going to change the alignment back now to wide width or I could just change it to a line center and again it squashed it up a little bit at the moment but when I start typing it's going to expand it again so that's a table and you can caption tables even if you really wanted to um, you can change your block if you really just wanted to transform it back to a paragraph um, then we've got a few options with our tape few more options with our table here we can uh, change the width manually um, and again we just go to table here and so slightly different way of uh, inserting tables and, and things this is back in our classic paragraph editor um, then we can make all our changes to our table here so that's the table and I'm just going to remove that now by uh, finding the remove block button here we go 
So that how, that's how we remove our block. As I said, if we look at the uh, add block section here, there are so many different blocks you can have a look at. Um, even things as simple as a page break, uh, you can add in buttons, which is a nice, um, nice way of uh, visualizing something for people to click on. Um, so here's my button, and you know I can just put click here and uh, and change the link for the button. And there's a few different options, as you can see. Um, and we can uh, add in our underline and all sorts of things like that. So I'm going to remove that again. But as you can see, so many options here that uh, we would just encourage you to have a play with. Um, have, a, have a look at what works for you. Have a look at other iChurch websites to see what works for you as well. As we said, the next tutorial is going to focus on uh, how to rectify any mistakes you might have made, um, both in simple terms, but also if uh, you've made quite a few mistakes and you want to go back and, uh, and change them. So tune in for that tutorial, which is coming up next.